Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As you guys can probably tell, I am filming in my bedroom today because A, I thought it'd be really comfortable in here, and B, I thought I'd switch it up, so I hope you guys like it. Now today's video is going to be a super exciting one because I'm heading out for a weekend getaway with a few of my girlfriends tonight. So I thought today would be a perfect day to film a how to travel light, how to pack light for a weekend getaway or for a short trip. So if you guys wanna see what my tips are, keep watching. One of the first things I do when I'm planning for a short trip or a weekend getaway is checking the weather where I'm going. So tonight we're heading to a place that's quite close to Vancouver. It's summertime here so it's going to be hot and summery so I'm not planning to wear things that are lightweight and really cool. Nothing too heavy but having said that weather apps can be wrong. You guys may know that you guys can check and it's going to say sunny all week long and you get there it gets kind of cloudy and rainy so I always like to pack a cardigan or like a lightweight sweater just in case the weather changes. Next up the most important important thing is packing your outfit. So I'm heading away for the weekend, so I'm going to try and go for four outfits. And I like to pick pieces that you can use interchangeably. So for instance, a pair of blue jeans, I can wear a different top with it one day and use a different blouse the next day. I like to do that because for the weekend, it's all you really need. You don't need to overpack and have individual items unless you want to, but for me, it's more of a hassle and it's more stuff in the bag. So I like to keep it simple, neat, and reusable for all different types of clothing. Keep that in mind when you're packing your Clothes. Packing tips. If you guys haven't heard of Eagle Creek packing bags, you need to check them out. Every time I go traveling, whether it's a long trip or a short trip, I always use these bags. They're perfect for stuffing all of your clothing in. So what I like to do is fold all of my clothing, roll it up, and put it in these bags and zip it up, and I'm ready to go. Everything is organized and in its place, and it's easier to find the bag instead of having tons of clothes just kind of stuffed in there. This is a really good way to keep it organized. And when you need something, you can just take it out, pick it out, and then zip it back up, and it's just clean and easy. So if you guys haven't seen Eagle Creek, check them out. They're amazing travel bags for your carry-ons or even for like your big luggage bags. They're perfect for traveling. When it comes to undergarments, I just flip the Eagle Creek packing bag over on the other side, unzip it, and put all my stuff in there. Zip it up and I'm ready to go. It's super clean and that's why I love these packing bags. It's because one side you can put all of your shirts and pants in and the other side you can put all of your undergarments in and it's just so easy and so organized. Also you guys, I made a travel video not too long ago on 10 travel tips you need to know and I use these bags in a more bigger scale. So if you wanna see how I use them, click on the link right here. When it comes to packing my jewelry, I just put everything in those small jewelry bags, tighten the string, and then pack it away. When I'm going away for a weekend, I don't like to pack too much jewelry with me, just maybe a few statement pieces, a few rings, and a few pairs of earrings, and that's it. And of course, we can't forget about makeup. I always like to use my Longchamp makeup bag and just put everything in there, only the things that I really need, like a few brushes, my foundation, concealer, a small eyeshadow palette, my lip stuff, blush, bronzer, just the main things and put that in the bag as well. I don't like to put my entire makeup thing in there because that would be way too much and I probably won't even need all of it. So just keeping it nice and simple and light. Last but not least, the dreaded shoes. You guys know what I mean. When it comes to packing shoes, I literally go, oh, why? Because shoes take up the most room, but using shower caps can really help with Room. So what I like to do is I just go to the dollar store, buy these like really cheap plastic shower caps and I'll just wrap my shoes in them and then put them in the bag. When it comes to packing shoes, I always like to bring a pair of nude heels because that matches everything. And I also like to bring a pair of sandals, especially if I'm going somewhere that's hot, I like to have sandals with me. And number three, I always like to bring a pair of walking shoes because if I'm walking all day, I want to make sure I'm comfortable. So bringing three pairs is kind of like my staple for me wherever I'm going. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some tips here that you can use in your next getaway or your next short trip. Also, if you guys haven't done this already, be sure to click on that subscribe button. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you love tips, tricks, and hacks, be sure to click on that red subscribe button right there. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys, so please comment below and let me know if you like this video and what other videos you'd like to see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on the next episode on Chew Tips. Bye! And put a few drops of peppermint oil in it. Now what you want to do is grab a towel, wring it out, place it in the bowl, and let it sit for about 15 minutes. When the time is up, pick it up, wring it out, and place it onto your sunburn. Now the peppermint oil is...